Namaste. We are going to start off our next section. It's called Food Chains. Remember, last year you did Food Chains in Grade 4. This is just an extension of the Food Chains. So, Food Chains... A food chain shows the feeding relationship between different living things in a particular environment or habitat. Often, a plant will begin a food chain because it can make its own food. Living things that can make their own food are called producers. Consumers are animals that eat, producers, or other animals. The animal that eats a producer or the plant is called the primary consumer. An animal that eats the primary consumer is called a secondary consumer. And an animal that eats a secondary consumer is called a tertiary consumer. A food chain is the transfer of energy from one living thing to another. All living things need energy to grow. Within a food chain, some living things create the energy, which are the producers, and some use the energy, which are the consumers. Plants are the producers of energy as they make their own food using sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. This process is called photosynthesis. Animals are consumers because they have to eat other animals and plants. There are four different types of consumers, but the three that we learn about are a carnivore, which is an animal that only eats other animals, a herbivore, that is an animal that only eats plants, and an omnivore is an animal that eats both plants and animals. If you look at this example above, the food chain begins with a plant. The plant is then eaten by an insect. The insect is then eaten by a bird. The bird is then eaten by a cat and the cat dies. It decomposes and is broken down by bacteria and fungi. Then the energy chain begins all over again. If one part is removed from the food chain, it can have disastrous results. Humans are at the end of the food chain. They eat both plants and animals that have consumed other forms of energy. Let's talk about China and the coronavirus. It was a snake that ate the bat and the human that ate the snake and the whole world got coronavirus because of a food chain. The arrows in a food chain show the direction in which energy moves. The arrows mean is eaten by. So, let's look at our diagram here. We have the plant that is eaten by the insect. We have the insect that is eaten by the bird. And the bird that is eaten by the cat. Let's go to our textbook on page 37. Gives a very nice explanation of food chains. Food chains show the feeding relationship between plants and animals. Food chains show the movement of food from one living thing to the next. The diagram below shows the example of a food chain. So, the grass makes the food, 
The zebra eats the grass and the lion eats the zebra. A food chain always starts with a green plant, which is a producer. Green plants, which is a producer, green plants such as grass can make their own food by photosynthesis. Next is a herbivore that eats the plant. For example, the zebra eats the grass. The zebra is a consumer. Then a carnivore eats the herbivore. For example, the lion eats the zebra. The carnivore or the last link in the chain is a consumer. We're going to page 38 now in the textbook. Look at the arrows in the food chain. The arrows show the direction in which the food moves. Food contains energy. So the arrows also show the direction in which energy is transferred. The arrow points to the animal that is doing the eating. The arrow means is eaten by. Grass is eaten by the zebra and the zebra is eaten by the lion. Can you see that the direction of the the energy moves in the food chain below. The picture shows a food chain with four links. The Mopani worm, the Mopani worm eats the leaves of the Mopani plant, the meerkat eats the Mopani worm, and the eagle eats the meerkat. Now, let us do activity three. Look at the picture of the living things above. Sequence a picture so that they are in the correct order and write the words down. This work needs to be done in your notebook. Present your answers as a food chain by placing the arrows between the words. Make sure that the arrows show the correct direction. Now we're going on to page 39. There's an activity 4 there. Look at the food chain below. Which organisms do food chains start with? Name the green plant in the food chain. Explain why your food chain always starts with a green plant. Name a herbivore and a carnivore in the food chain. And what do the arrows in a food chain mean? Answer all these questions in your book. Next is question two. Look at the pictures below. You've got a leopard, a springbuck and a bush. Put these living things in the right order to make a food chain. Show your answer as a flow chart. B. What does a food chain always start with? C. Name the herbivore in the food chain and D. Name the carnivore in the food chain. So you need to do all four in your notebook. Let's go on to Let's go on to page 40. You've got an activity there. That is a flow chart. So all you need to do there is Fill in the living things in the correct order. Copy and complete the flowchart. Write the names of the living things in a correct position in a flowchart and use the words below. So you are first going to put in the living things and under that you're going to say whether it is a producer, a herbivore or a carnivore. Then we're also going to finish, write this in. You're going to name the herbivore and two carnivores and you are also going to explain what an omnivore is. Page 41 is the summary. So read through the summary and answer the language revision in your book. And let's go to page 42. Page 42, you just have to do the entire activity and I will send you the answers by Friday the 10th of April. 
Keep well, everybody, and hope you are safe and secure in your homes. Bye for now.